So the question is, if I'm using a manometer to measure vacuum, and I hook it directly up to a vacuum source, isn't it just going to suck the water out of the manometer and into the pump? So we got this vacuum, and when you close it off, it's reading around 23 inches of vacuum, 23, 24 inches of vacuum. Okay. Now this gauge here is measured in inches. I got it set so that it's on number three right here, and for every one inch of deviation, one every, for every one inch of movement of the water, that's two inches of vacuum. So at 13, it would be 20 inches. At 14, it would be 22. And at 15, it would be 24. So let me make sure that you can see that. Okay, let me get back up here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So you saw the vacuum pump. And it, the vacuum pump is set. Vacuum pump has a pressure when it's completely closed off, has a vacuum pressure of around 24 inches. And here comes to my dog, and now he's interested in finding out what's going on, but he's probably not in frame here. So, what's going to happen when I connect these two up? Is it just going to suck the water right out of there? Well, like I said, here's here's 3, and that's the reference. So 13 is going to be 20 inches, 22 inches, 24 inches, 26. Okay, so if it was up here at 23, that would be 40 inches of vacuum. So I could go to 42, 40, 42, 44, 46. 48. I could go all the way up to 50 inches of vacuum and it would get right up to here. That's as far as it would go. But we're just going to go ahead and connect this up. And without any hesitation, I'm just going to go ahead and connect that right up there. And it's going to settle down. And it's reading 15 and a half inches. So we've got totally, and you can hear the, you can hear the pump. The pump is, is closed off. Okay, it's like putting a stopper because uh, the water is so heavy. Okay? It's like putting a stopper in this tube. It just stops it. It won't go any higher. The water is very heavy. Okay, and it, it, it can't go any further uh, because it just can't suck hard enough. So it's reading 13. That's 20, 22, 24, 24, 25 inches of vacuum. That's how much this pump is producing. And like I say, you can go all the way up to 50. Right? I don't know if that's in frame, but you, this gauge could go all the way up to 50. And it still wouldn't suck the water out of the tube. Okay? Because it's just not enough lift. Okay? Vacuum has a certain amount of lift. And it gets to a certain point where the amount of lift that's being generated by the vacuum pump um, isn't great enough to lift the water any higher. Okay. Now if I were to suck on it by mouth, turn this off, I'll suck on it by mouth and I'll suck as hard as I can possibly suck. I got it up to about 20 and a half. So 3 to 13 is, is 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 35. I was able to suck as hard as I could suck. I get it up to about 35. Of course there is, you notice that as it's traveling, Okay, 
In other words, I don't know, let's see, make sure that that's in frame. Let me back out here a little bit. Okay, because there's, there's the top right there. If I move the camera back a little bit. Okay, now you can see the now you can just barely see the bottom of the of the level down there and you can see the top of the gauge. And you'll notice that if I if I suck really hard and watch the column, there's a certain amount of momentum to the water okay, as I begin to suck on it and we'll see how high I can get it with the momentum. Okay, I got it all the way up to 27, 26 and a half with the momentum. And if I hold 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 my mouth, in other words, cap it, cap off the tube, okay, once I get it up to real high like that, in other words, with the momentum. And then put my tongue in the way so that the air can't escape. I got it all the way up to 27, about 27. Okay, so 27, so that would be 27 minus 3 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. So I got it all the way up to about 48 inches of vacuum. But it still didn't suck it through the tube. Okay, uh, I'd have to get it over 50. I mean, and most player pianos operate on less than 30 inches of vacuum. Uh, if you happen to have a pump that produces 50, well, you know, it's going to go all the way up to the top of the gauge. Hope that answers the question.